morning. I am Deepa from Computer Science Department, a guest lecturer working in Dhanraj Bay Jain College. So today we are going to see about data structures. Data structures is nothing but is used to store and retrieve the data. So we are having some many ways to store and access the data. The one of the favorite technique is linear data structures. In linear data structure, we are having some two types. One is stack and the other one is queue. So we will discuss about stack and queue with the examples and algorithm. The first one is stack. So stack is a linear data structures used to uh, store the data in a particular way. So that is uh, LIFO or FILO. So LIFO means last in first row or FIFO, FILO means first in last row. So we are having the stack. Stack is nothing but uh, we can have an example as cafeteria. So in cafeteria we are having some uh, uh, place so that can be stored in one by one. So the same way. So top and pop. So we are having some two methods. The one is push method. The other one is pop. Push means we are adding the data items. Pop means we are deleting the data items. So push operation. We are having these steps that we will follow in the push operation. Check whether the stack is full or not. If it is full means we are going to, uh, we, are, we will have an error message. If it is not full, we are going to add the items in a top man. So we are having A, B, C, D. So D is in a top position. So we are going to add an E element. So E element. So we will consider the top as now E. Then next is algorithm. So if this stack is full, return null. End if top equal to top plus one stack of data. Stack of top data end procedures. The other one is example. So this example uh, we can implement in C also. So that will be very easy to have. So void push of in data. If it is not full, we are going to add the elements. So push means we are just adding the elements. So if it is not full, we are just adding the things. Top equal to top plus one. Stack of top equal to data. Else printer could not insert the data. So whenever the stack is full, we cannot enter the data. The next uh, operation is pop operation. So push means add operation. Pop means we are just going to remove the data element from the stack. So we are not just uh, removing the data element, it is not actually removed, instead we are just decrementing the top session. These are the steps we are just following under pop operation check if the stack is empty. If it is empty, we proceed an error message. If the stack is not empty, access the data element which is top is pointing. Decreases the value of top by 1. So the same thing, so we are just uh, deleting the thing E, the last value. So top is decremented to the next as D. The algorithm begin procedure pop stack. If stack is empty, return null. End if data stack of top, top, top minus 1, return data. So these are the steps under the uh, stack. So stack means we are having the two operations. One is pop operation and the second one is push operation. Push means we are just adding the data element into the stack. Pop means we are just deleting the data element in the stack. The second linear data structure is Q. So here we are having some two familiar words. One is real and the other one is Friend. Real means we are just inserting the data values from one end and then deleting the data items on the other end called friend. So friend points beginning of the queue and the real points to the end of the queue. So this follows the technique FIFO that is first in first out. So stack follows the LIFO last in first out. So we are having five methods the one is NQ, DQ and then initialization friend and real. NQ means we are just adding the data element in the queue. So we can compare stack and queues. In stack push means we are just adding. In queue, NQ means we are just adding the data element. So DQ means we are just removing an element from the queue. Initiate, initiate or method means this function is used for initializing the queue. Friend means friend is used to get the friend data item from the queue. Real means the last item from the queue. So NQ operation. So we have already seen what is NQ operation. NQ operation means we are just adding the data elements in the queue. So step 1. We are just checking whether the queue is full or not. If it is full means we are just proceeds with an error message. And if it not uh, full means we are just incrementing the real pointer to the next value. And then add data item to the queue and then return success. We are going to check whether it is full or not. If it is not full means we can add the item. If it is full means we are just uh, proceed the error message. And the next algorithm, NQ algorithm. If Q is full, return overflow. Yes. So if it is already full means we, are, we cannot add the items in the Q. And if real equal to real plus plus. Already we have seen what is real. Real means we are just adding the items in an one line. Q of real data, return true. 
and the next step. So here we are having the uh, example, so we, you can understand very easily. So here we are just inserting the data items, in front we are just uh, deleting the uh, data items. So we are just deleting the data items A. So what are the uh, current accessing data here was D, C, B. As we are just removing, that is we are uh, deguing the data item as A. So these are the algorithms for DQ algorithm. If Q is empty, return under flow. So if it is already empty, means we cannot uh, delete the data items. And then end if we are just closing the data equal to Q of n, friend, friend plus one, return true. So these are the applications. So major uh, application of data structure is backtracking. So we are going to check whether the parenthesis are matching. And uh, these are the applications. That is CPU scheduling and then transfer accessibility between two processes. Handling of interrupts, call center, phone systems will use all the queue process. The next one is circular queue. The same as we have seen about the uh, stack and queue. In stack, we have uh, push and pop operation. In queue, we have some uh, five operations that is uh, uh, initialization, DQ, NQ, and then rear and friend. The same as in circular queue, we are having some uh, uh, having some ring buffer concepts. So head and tail. So we are having some two things, one is head, the other one is tail. So at first head and tail will point to the same position. So whenever we are decrementing, we are adding the new items, the tail position moves as long as. The next one is, so new data is added to the position by tail pointer. So T1 is the current pointer, it points to the same head and tail. So whenever it is added to the new thing, it will be called as tail. So D1 also holds the same position. So we are just adding the new data elements D2, D3 and D4. So Q is one that belongs to the head and tail. So we are just go going to delete the things. So at present we are having the tail equal to 0 as we are deleting the D1. So it belongs to head equal to D1. So at first we are having the D1. So we are just uh, deleting the thing. So the pointer will be followed to the D2. So these are the algorithm for circular queue. So first of all we are just initializing the queue and then we are checking whether it is full or not. If it is not full means we are just adding the data items. If it is full means we proceed with the error message. DQ means we are just going to check whether the queue is full or not. If it is uh, already empty means we are just proceed with an error message. And then finding the size. If it is equal to means tail minus head plus 1. We are just uh, follows the algorithm. Today we have discussed about linear data stru structure and its types. So we can um, forward to the hash table for the tomorrow session. Thank you.